Hi, everyone. Today's episode is a bit of a flashback. As you'll recall from the last episode, Adrian Mateos was eliminated at the start of day two of the $10,000 Six Max event. And of course, you noticed that his teammate, Joa Oviera, was present at his table. The two had played against each other on several occasions, so it was only natural to rewind the tape a bit to see the action again from the Portuguese pro's perspective. So we're going back right to the beginning of day two with Joao in the bottom half of the leaderboard with a stack of about 35 blinds. Let's go, Joao! Fine. <laughs> Beginning of day two of the 10,006 map. Hey, how you doing? I survived. That's good. That's good. Surviving is good. One thousand One hundred thirteen players left. I think we're gonna be. Pay their own 45.50. Long day, you know? I plan to play it here all day, so that's. <laughs> Doesn't look like a good, good table. Looks like he has about 20 bigs. That's a good start. I don't know much about this guy. But a friend of mine told me there was a Korean playing super, super wild. I don't know if it's him, if it's another of his friends. It's a pretty good stack size and spot to flat. Uh, I think I'm gonna play it slow, yeah. Jake and squeeze. Other can also squeeze. Well, nobody did, but it's still alright. Got a pre in the rep hand, I can still make a lot of chips. Interesting board. Hits a lot of my range, hits a lot of Jake's range. That's the third. I got Jake behind. He's pretty on the shallows. I don't think he's gonna bet too wide here. This should have at least some kind of gut shot or I actually have a lot he's gonna have a lot of the king or the I think he's gonna raise and try to stack him off. It's alright if Jake folds some equity as well. I have the ace of clubs I can call too. I don't yeah, I still I think I'm still gonna raise. I don't think he's gonna see that too wide and when he has a king I'm gonna get him in really bad shape or if he has some kind of queen jack he's really bad against my hand specifically. Wonder, hmm. Looks like he had a little something, maybe a queen jack, maybe a weak king. If you sh I would have gone with it. Okay, let's go. No, he has a pretty good draw. Let's flip. That's okay. That's not so okay. You got the nuts. That's a bad start. Definitely not, not what I was looking for. Like 45, 50, 
five. So I got 20 bigs. Hmm. That is what it is. Pretty comfortable with this stack anyway. Especially six mags. It's been playing this my whole life, so. Battle of the Blinds, I love it. Small blind is 1000. He should be playing a tighter range. I don't know if he's gonna adjust. That's as much as garbage as you can get, pretty much. Still use it as a raise. Hmm, I think I'm just gonna play small. Small ball. Hand is pretty bad, my stack is short. Getting close to the money. And let's try to see some some flops. Yeah. Okay, my nine is looking all right. Probably bet most of his aces and weaker nines and stronger nines. Looks like a okay spot. It's not gonna pot control my hand is still weak to start betting. But I'm probably have the best hand. Goes Mimba. I can still have the best hand easily. Sometimes he bets the ace on the flop pretty much all the time. The nines usually also bet flop the better nine so you can have something like nine seven or something like that but it looks like i'm okay if you bet it just an easy call with second pair now i'm Pretty confident I'm good. I don't think he would ever, or with any kind of reasonable frequency, check something that I lose to. A lot of draws miss, something like Jack Four missed, Jack Four with diamonds, Queen High Diamonds, Jack Deuce with diamonds. Four thousand. I think I can get it. A value out of five or seven. Quite often. I think he's gonna have a 5 a lot. Pot control flop, bit turn for protection. That makes a lot of sense. Sizing, I think, is just right. Can have some kind of 3. All right, let's start comeback. It's comeback season. Not with these cards. I'm not getting any hands. So. Yeah, I can play this one. A little on the loose side, but I think it's still alright. Biggest stack, it's an easy raise. A little on the short side. Short stack. You gotta be a little more careful with your hand selection, but it's still alright, I'm off 25 bigs, 30 bigs, still okay. I'll whiff the flop. 
hope she's happy as well. A recreational player from Venezuela that plays a lot. Usually. Not an easy guy to bluff on this board. I mean, if it doesn't have anything, it doesn't have anything. Should be an easy one. Nope. I guess not. Alright. You want and you take it. Make next break 150 each. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. That's how it works. Race. Well, let's not celebrate too early. Last time I had aces. The chips then came my way. Let's try with kings. Same guy. Let's see if you want to play. Okay, so 5,000, 10,000, plus... Okay, 13, 5 in the middle. I got two bots behind. A little over, I think. Pretty small bet. Pretty standard. 45. Big range advantage. Let's make it one third. Got the king of diamonds too, that helps. Almost no bad cards in the deck for me. Okay. How do I get all the chips in? Well. I guess this is one of the bad cards, even though it's not too bad. He shouldn't have many aces on his range, maybe something like ace 5, maybe ace 10. He could have diamonds, but I have a king of diamonds. And king 10 is unlikely. Tough spot, I can go really small again, but... Yeah, I don't think he's gonna shove, or I can just check back and just... Play a river. I like to bet 4,500. I also like to check back. Try to underwrap my hand. Even though this is the hand I'm gonna card, I, I could possibly be bluffing, so it would make some sense to bet. It's a close spot. Close spot. If I had a little bigger stack. Anyway. Nine of spades in the river. 10-8 gets there. 10-9 also makes a pair. He can really put me on the spot if he wants to. Okay, he doesn't want to. Looks like he's looking for a check though. Okay, let's check. King Jack, King Jack loses. Yeah, when I have the king, of, I think I misplayed this hand. I think I could have just bet small on the turn. Nah, it's alright. Sometimes you can jam some baby flushes and I'm gonna lose some, some equity. Maybe sometimes you can jam the king 10 and then I'm gonna lose some equity. Or some two pairs that he slow played, so it's alright. Few more folds and another one. Gotta stay patient, gotta stay disciplined. That's how it goes when you're short stack. You gotta know what when to play loose, you gotta know when to play tight. Pocket threes. Eleven bags, cut off, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'll take it.
but I think I'm gonna play this one. Needs a decision. All in. Twelve bigs. It's good. I think I'm gonna get called a lot. 12 bigs, I can get called by weak aces, I can get called by some broadways, even something like jack 10 suited or 10 9 suited, maybe even, obviously. Any pair. The pairs would have called by now. Does he have? He probably has some kind of broadway or some kind of weak, weak ace. Should be something like that. Maybe something like queen 8 suited. King A2 to hope it's less likely he has an ace by now. He could still have some really weak aces like ace deuce off, a6 off. Let's see. Ace deuce suited. That should be an easier call than it looked like. Okay, maybe this guy is not so loose as a. Thought he could be. It's not. For 12 bigs. It's not an easy call. But versus button small blind, it's alright. It's alright to think. Getting close to the money, so he's not a. doesn't have a big stack. But. Okay. Now we got some chips. Not many. More than we did, so. Alright. Suited ace. Six max, low jack. That's a raise. And we're looking for folds. Okay, other. Wanna go. Just let it go. You can just let it go. He didn't let it go. That's all right. It looked like he would. Looked like he had some kind of decision. That's a solid flop. Middle pair, top kicker. For sure, I'm gonna see about this. I need protection. Sometimes I take some value. Tough when it, it it sucks when you check raises, but you know, got an easy call. Let's go one third. Let's see it from there. Well, I think I'm, I bet one fourth, but it's all right. Should have bet bigger. Doesn't change much. Okay, this deck is getting a little more healthy. Let's see if I can make two in a row. Mm -hmm. I check my garbage. Flop. So I got Jack of Diamonds here. That's a key card. I'm gonna check it back. Maybe I have the best hand. I can play some turns. Queen is a good card for me. Okay. 
Did you check? Hmm. It's got a showdown. I don't have that much showdown, but I can win sometimes. Jack High could be good. Let's see if it is. Queen. Not queen. Is that a full half? Hmm. Tricky. All right. Okay. Is it protecting his range or does he think that I'm really aggressive? Pocket Jacks, so that's a pretty good hand. Looks like Adrian has a hand. It's a really good spot for me. Cut off versus small blind, 30 bigs. But Jacks versus Adrian was pretty aggressive, especially from the small blind. Okay, three bet. That's an easy one. If Giuseppe comes, um, hmm, I think I still go with it for thirty bigs. Giuseppe is pretty aggressive. Adrian has his image. It's also very aggressive. I think he, he might stick it in with a wider range. Okay, this is an easy one. Easy shove. Let's go for value. It's not gonna get called worst. He's gonna fold a bunch. Premium spot. Little bit of Hollywood. All in. There you go. Nice spot. Up to 40 bigs now. I have a little bit of more room. suited let's try to make it two in a row huh. interesting dynamic here Adrian just rebut me oh he goes again huh, this is interesting Quite wide hand, especially for this stage of the tournament, but uh, there's this weird dynamic. Is he doing it again on back to back? People really like to do back to back three bets. Let me see how much I have. About 40 bigs. Yeah. A little over. A little over 40 bigs. <laughs> it's a little too wide for this stage of the tournament, but people, when they three bet the first, usually. There's this dynamic that people don't 3-bet wide the second time, but guys who know this usually just 3-bet a little too wide the second time. And if that's the case, maybe I can I can rip this ace-3 suited. Usually Adrian doesn't go out of line too much. And I think he knows this dynamic and he knows that I know this dynamic, so my hand is not, not good enough. I think I'm just gonna let it go. You can go lean two in a row. I can bluff two in a row. <laughs> it's a good spot to bluff. It's a good spot to bluff. You're right. Yeah, and the two in a row. You're so wild. <laughs> Chris Oliver is doing that for 10 years. <laughs> Second one can never be a bluff. Come on. It's never a bluff. And then the guy's over bluff. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> you want to pop? 
That's me. That's my game. <laughs> it happens a lot. Like the second just gets over bluffed so often because the second can never be bluffed. That's a good one on the button. It's a good one anywhere. And the button's a little better. Okay, which one of you is gonna shove? I can do it, Jake. I'm seeing the other end stuck, I think it's gonna. It's thinking about it. All right. Okay. All in. Yep, perfect. It's a nice setup. 35 bags, quite standard. First in the button raise. Hold, that's nice. Wanna wait, I think. Am I right? One seven. So that's like 214, but I got like 220. Yeah, I got like 220, that's about 60, 70 bigs for this level, but it's about to change, so. I think I'm gonna have something like 50 bigs to the next level. Pretty good. Pretty good comeback. Is Francois still in? Yeah, good, uh, pretty, like 280. 280? That's yep. good. Yeah, that's good. Pretty good uh, have, like, yeah, we don't break. We got 220, we'll... I have like 230 now. Yeah. Yeah, Hold Jack, please. What? You play Jack, a lot of No Limit with him? No. You? Oh, you I play played... a lot of missed games, right? Yeah, yeah, it was like solid, tight. Yeah, no Limit. No Limit, it was just folding, and then all of a sudden it was the single draw, which is kind of a No Limit game. You just went boom, 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 bluff, bluff, bluff. bluff. Yeah. Like big bluffs too, like I think he's creative. More, I think he's more like a field player, probably. Maybe. I, maybe. I don't know if he's going to do some, a lot. I think he's going to fill a lot of sandwich. <laughs> he's, in, he's in a bad position. Like. Yeah. I don't know. People need to, to play type in this for pre flop you've seen that you just go like the queen queen off like King Queen and Ace Five is maybe he's gonna stack off white. Which one? King Queen? Uh, ah that, that that's a big mistake that one. Yeah, I, I was say fuck it, I have fuck a sixes. I will call the yeah. other guy and I'm one. Well. It's traditional I've never I've never been in never installed the older resources like King yeah, Queen. The King Queen is so it's bad. clearly full, yeah. It's, it's really a big mistake. I know, bro. But they never Normally, want the same, people, so they think it's okay. People you know? who doesn't play no limit overestimate the power of King Queen of <laughs> King Queen of is no, not, a, just it's not a good run. No, no. I mean, depends. <laughs> <laughs> not to call all in. So not, no, no, not many. Anybody. So today they're playing all the way down to five or no. probably like 15 no. players, something like that. It's for the events or three days? Three days. Oh, day. But it's a mistake because in the, in the tournament, uh, the top set four days. Oh. But then when Structure you break three. up the structure, it's three days. Three days. So. Sometimes. Sometimes. It's about to get serious. We got a new player at the table. Professional. Not the easiest table, but it's 10k6 max, usually. When things are getting close to the money. The field gets tougher. It's a good one. Okay, 
calls. I think he has like 40 bigs. That's what like 120, a little over. Should have like 45 bigs. this it's gotta be a tough spot so I got 100 150 160 yeah about 185 190 Hmm, much of that. Like 47 bigs, 45 bigs. Okay, that's his range. I think, okay, small blind usually doesn't have much. So Adrian can just reshove and just kind of ignore and trade it as that money because usually it is. Uh, I think that's what he's thinking about. Ace King is gonna squeeze and call it off. Ace Queen. He knows I'm pre flop happy, so I think he's gonna squeeze his queen. For sure, his queen suited, so I'm very unlikely to be dominated. I think the only way I'm dominated here is Ace Queen off, and it's he can still squeeze call. Maybe he doesn't go all in, so when he goes all in, I'm most likely flipping, or occasionally I'm good. Like he shoved like ace 10 suited or jack 10 suited as a squeeze, queen jack suited. I kind of dominate a lot of those. And maybe you can have ace 5 suited a little too too much, too many chips. But So I'm going to be flipping a lot. A lot. I'm going to be flipping a lot. Like 7s, 8s, 9s, 10s. He probably squeeze calls jacks. He probably squeeze calls all ace queens. All, all ace queens. For sure all ace kings. So I'm either against a pair. Sevens to tens, maybe sixes. Occasionally, a queen off, but I think if you actually squeeze a queen off, it's a really good spot to bluff. So I think it's gonna put it in the as a squeeze call, and then some things that I dominate with the odds. I'm pretty sure I have the odds to call, but we are getting close to the money. This is a lot of chips, so this is a hard one. Uh, this is a table that I'm actually shouldn't be playing too conservative is it a tough table I think I'm gonna call I don't think I'm ever bad I'm gonna flip a lot but uh, with the odds that I have and if it's offsuit it's for sure I fold but well, okay we're flipping okay that's one of those Okay, this is a really big one. And if I win this one, I didn't get crippled, which is also important. Okay, pretty good flop. Fade a couple of outs. Okay. That's a massive flip. Massive, massive flip. Forty eight but hundred big blinds flip. Yeah, a little loose because it's close to the money. But I think it's alright. For sure, Adri would, would would shove something like Queen Jack suited, Jack 10 suited. Maybe some King Queen suited or Queen Jack suited. If it's heads up, I, I'm for sure not getting it in, but after the call Ace 10 suited is possible as well. Adri is all in, I'm gonna flip, let's see how it goes, oh, that's a nice day, <laughs> quads, okay Adri, that's it JJ bro, definitely not your day, you lost a huge flip and then I lost jack six queen, so, the guy flops quads, that's it, well, table got easier, 
Well, not that much easier. Run good battle. <laughs> I thought it was like 16. That was like 16. That'd be weird. It's only one. I didn't saw one of the orange chips. 16, I would I would have taken out. <laughs> 21, I don't know. My life goes on. Not strong enough to make 16, you said? Hmm. How much does he have? I can 3 bit and probably call it off, or I can just flat. Play a smaller pot, protect my flatting range. Pretty strong range also to play. As a call. Kind of a semi trap versus squeezes behind. Sometimes they squeeze shove worse, sometimes they squeeze and you can just go over the top. Really cool hands of flats. He seems a little more tight after the ace deuce suited, so a little better to flat. Okay. Three of us. Whiffed. Right caller, wrong suit. Okay, see a turn. Ace and queen can still be live, especially, obviously. No, non-spade, the spades are harder to be live. That's not it, it's getting more connected. Got a gut shot now, but on a monotone board, so it doesn't look very good. Let's hope the guy checks again. That'd be nice. I'll take a river. Okay. I got some outs for sure. Small chance I have the best hand. Not impossible. I have the other guy has ace four and the big blind has like queen three suited. It's not getting any easier. How come so many black cards and I got, got nothing? Can we change that deuce of spades or deuce of clubs? Okay. Once in a lifetime I win this one though. Well, I guess not, not this time. Close to the money. A lot of chips, not a lot of cards. Can I get something? I mean, just something. A little something? Half of something? I'll take a quarter of something. Because it was dealer's choice. Pretty card dead, end of the level. I was looking to play more hands. But... Let's go to the break. Break aqui no 10k, faltam uh, 64 jogadores, paga 51. Temos aqui um paparazzi, não sei porquê. Paco, how you doing? Estamos aqui a fazer da lá do Pro. Uh, os episódios vão sair daqui a uns dias. Já lá vamos conseguir fazer uma deep run. A última vez que tive aqui o... esta malta atrás de mim, uh, ganhou a bracelete. Por isso, também no 6 Max. Bora ver como é que as coisas correm, tem que ser 60 big blinds, 70 big blinds, estou muito bem, a bubble está aqui a chegar e bora tentar fazer uma deep run. Ok, last time I was with Dan Latet to pro, follow me, I did win a bracelet and I did win a bracelet in a 6 max, so I don't know. Rest assured, Joao, no one has forgotten your last appearance in Inside the Mind of a Pro, which ended with your greatest victory and your first world champion bracelet. In this second day of the $10,000 Six Max tournament, we're still far from the final table, but so far, things are looking very good. There are only 64 players left in the race, not far from the 50 paid spots, and with your stack at around 70 blinds, you can look forward to the mad dash towards the bubble. We'll find out soon enough in the next episode of Inside the Mind of a Pro.